Here's my self-tanning tips as a master esthetician. Rule number one, we're gonna shave the night before. Ideally with a brand new blade, so here's your reminder to go switch that out. Number two, if you're a regular self-tanner, make sure to scrub off any old tan with a remover mitt. Number three, exfoliate. Good exfoliation is key because you really need that nice space for your tan to stay. Number four, we're gonna apply lotion to all of our dry areas. That means hands, armpits, knees, feet, elbows, wherever you need it, sis. All right, now on to the next morning. Go ahead and grab your favorite self-tanner. I've really been enjoying this self-tanning mousse from Soul Potion. I like that it comes in a couple different shades so it will match my skin tone depending on the time of year. It's honestly one of the best smelling self-tanners I've ever used. And I really like that I don't feel sticky when I use it so I can either sleep in it or I can put it on first thing in the morning. Also, you guys know I'm really big about ingredients so I like that it's got grapeseed oil and cucumber extract that's gonna help hydrate the skin. All right, all right, let's talk about applying. I always like to start with my legs and I found that three pumps for each limb does the trick. Also, using a circular motion instead of a straight up and down seems to give me the best results. Okay, let's talk about the hands here. The secret is to use very minimal product. So my two favorite methods are either using a kabuki brush or just the excess product that's left on the mitt. You heard that right. Whenever you get done with one of your arms, do not add any more product and just apply what's left on your hands. Make sure to get every crevice, avoiding the palms. Use a towel to wipe those knuckles. And then I set a timer for 30 minutes to rinse them after. Last tip is gonna be some dark baggy comfy clothes. 